a hey, shalom israel gubile rasa just real quick i want to go over a historical site with y'all real quick this is the site known as mission san juan capistrano of course if you grew up out here in southern california in the school system you were taught about the mission systems throughout california and their history of you know seeming like they were something positive and 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 beautiful for the state via the catholic church but what they don't tell you is the true racist history behind these missions and what their true motive was. Right here, I have an article titled, Telling the Truth About the California Missions During Native American Heritage Month. If you were raised in California, perhaps you remember choosing a mission to learn about and subsequently constructing a model out of popsicle sticks or clay during your fourth grade year. Today, learning about the California mission system continues to occupy a central place in fourth grade curriculum despite new understandings of the cruelty wrought against indigenous peoples by the Spanish via the mission system throughout California. One of the major problems with the way the missions are taught is that this history is largely told from the point of view of Franciscan missionaries effectively erasing indigenous perspective. So what's that mean? That there's a true dark history to these missions to San Juan Capistrano and what it truly was, which was a boarding school or an assimilation camp meant to beat the culture out of indigenous people. The true motive of the Catholic Church and the California mission system was to kill the Indian and save the man. And you know what that meant for indigenous people. That meant torture, abuse, rape, all types of horror stories you find out about these California missions, man. That's what San Juan Capistrano truly represents as a historical site in Southern California. The racist treatment and cruel abuse that these mission systems did towards indigenous people.